Welcome back. My name is Satyajit Sahu, and today we will be solving questions on geotechnical engineering. So, let us first welcome all the participants. So, welcome Naivitya, Civil Service Examination, Manjit Dube, Sopnil, and Juhi and Niki. So, welcome to all of you. Okay. Sabka swagat hai aaj ke is class mein. To aaj hum 2020 series mein hai. Or 2020 series mein aaj hum geotechnical ke questions karne wale hai. तो आप ये सोच रहे होंगे कि मैं हिंदी में क्यों बात कर रहा हूं यस नॉर्मली आई टॉक इन इंग्लिश राइट एंड दिस इज एन इंग्लिश चैनल राइट सो मैं हिंदी में क्यों बात कर रहा हूं क्योंकि कुछ नया होने वाला है और उसका अनाउंसमेंट ये है कि हमारे इंग्लिश और हिंदी YouTube चैनल्स का नाम बदलने वाला है वी आर गोइंग टू चेंज द नेम्स ऑफ द इंग्लिश एंड हिंदी YouTube चैनल Okay, and what will be the new names? The new names will be the English channel will change to what? Electrical, Electronics, Instrumentation and Computer Science. And the Hindi channel will change to what? Civil and Mechanical. Okay, so we all know that we have two channels, right? One is the English channel, other one is Hindi channel, right? Now we have bifurcated not in terms of language but in terms of what branches. So जिन लोगों ने हमारे हिंदी चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है उसको कृपया सब्सक्राइब कर ले If you have not subscribed the Hindi channel, I'll request you that please subscribe to that because after 13th of November, okay, after 13th of November, all the classes of civil and mechanical. After 13th of November, all the classes of civil and mechanical, both English and Hindi, both English and Hindi, मतलब दोनों ही भाषाओं में civil और mechanical के जो भी lectures हैं, वो अब Hindi YouTube channel पे लिए जाएंगे. तो क्या होगा? Hindi YouTube channel's name will be changed to civil mechanical channel, yes, and then all the language lectures of civil and mechanical will happen there. So, since I am a civil faculty, because I am a civil faculty, I will not see this channel on the 13th of November. So, if you have not subscribed to our Hindi channel, if you have not subscribed to the Hindi channel, so please subscribe to that channel. The link is given in the description. So, that channel will change to civil and mechanical and from 13th of November, you can access all the lectures of both Hindi and English language over there. Okay. Hope I am clear to all the listeners. Okay. So this was the announcement. Let us start. Okay. With the questions. So I'll be solving 10 questions and 10 questions with answers will be your practice questions. Okay. Let us start. So this is the first question. So we'll solve the first question. Ratio of bulk unit weight and dry unit weight of soil is given as 1.16. So this is your bulk unit weight and this is what? The dry unit weight is given. Find the degree of saturation of the soil sample if shrinkage limit is 22%. Okay, so shrinkage limit is given as 22% and we have to find out what? The degree of saturation. How to find out degree of saturation? Let us understand. See, at shrinkage limit, yes, at sinkage limit, we know that soil is fully saturated. So I can say, okay, at sinkage limit, I can say that the soil is fully saturated. So S is equal to 1. S is equal to 1. Okay. Okay. S is equal to 1. Now, the soil is not in saturated state. It is at some bulk unit. Okay, bulk state means what? It is between something dry and I can say fully saturated. Right? So, but what will not change? The void ratio will not change, right? Yes, in the bulk or the saturated or dry, the void ratio will remain same. Now you see what is the bulk unit weight formula? It is G plus SE, yes, into gamma W by 1 plus E. And what is dry unit weight? Dry unit weight is G gamma W by 1 plus E. Yeah, this is the formula, right? This is the formula, yes. Now, this is given how much? 1.16. Yes. So if you take this, what will happen? This 1 plus E and 1 plus E will get cancelled. 
gamma w gamma w will get cancelled right and then from here I'm getting this ratio as what g plus s e g plus s e right g plus s e by g is equal to what is equal to 1.16 yes now this e is for what it is for your bulk unit weight right it is for bulk unit weight now the e will remain same when it becomes what fully saturated also this the e will remain same when it becomes what fully saturated also so when the soil is fully saturated at sinkage limit the water content is how much that is equal to the sinkage limit so i can say here the water content is 22 percent or i can say 0.22 degree of saturation is one i can find out the void ratio right what is the void ratio i can use s e is equal to w into g right so from here i can say s will be one and e will be equal to 0.22 into g now this e is for what this e is for fully saturated stage it is for fully saturated stage but the void ratio don't change when you keep adding water from dry to bulk to saturated stage dry this void ratio never change okay so when the void ratio is not changing can i say this will be the same e for what the bulk unit weight so in this equation in this equation i can replace e by what this 0.22 g so what will happen g plus 0.22 g this is e and then s by g is equal to 1.16 right so what will happen you see this g is getting cancelled right i'm getting what 1 plus 0.22 s is equal to 1.16 so tell me what is the degree of saturation from this now from this tell me what is the degree of saturation now tell me come on what's the answer tell me find out and tell me i'll also find out okay how much i'm betting Seventy two point seven two. So it is point seven two seven two. I can say it in percentage is what seventy two point seven two percent. Okay, you can see very basic question, but you need to know what the different relationships. Otherwise, you can't solve this question. Let us go to the next question. Question number two, something on bearing capacity. Okay, the ultimate bearing capacity of a rectangular footing. 3 meter into 4 meter so this is the width this is the length always take the minimum one is the width okay footing in a purely cohesive soil is 370 kilopascal if the depth of footing is given as 2 meter okay and the unit weight is given as 18 kiloton per meter cube find out the cohesion using Terzaghi theory now we know the ultimate building capacity formula is what for a rectangular footing, it is what? It is 1 plus 0.3b by L, right? C and C. Okay, somebody is writing. Let me just answer this. Then I will. Uh, Sir, Odisha is O S S C J E Civil Me. This is come. Okay, Water Resource Department, Panchayat, Fishery, Style Department. You can choose up. Uh, municipality or water resource and anything is good public is also good okay it depends on number of vacancies <laughs> so just text me i'll give you my number okay you can text me and then we will have a discussion okay so that the class flow is not disturbed this is my number you can text me i will discuss with you over whatsapp or telegram let us come back to this uh, equation. This is 1 plus 0.3 B by L, C and C, plus what? Q and Q, plus what? Remember, 0.5, 1 minus 0.2 B by L, right? Gamma and gamma into what? Your B. Santu has found out. Let us see it is correct or not. Most surely it is correct. Let us have a check. Now, we should remember that, okay? We should remember that one thing you should remember always 
that for a purely cohesive soil what will happen nc will be equal to 5.7 okay and your nq will be equal to 1 and n gamma is equal to 0 so this thing will not be given to you in the question they are not going to give this particular information in the question you should remember it okay now these things have discussed in the formula series right if you have attended the formula series we have all discussed these things okay i have discussed if you have not attended then please go and attend okay now here you see n gamma is zero so this term is zero so we just ignore it right now this equation q u is given how much 370 is equal to 1 plus 0.3 b is given how much 3 and l is given 4 c and c is 5.7 plus what is q q is gamma df right so gamma into df and q is anyhow 1 so from this how much i'm c i'm getting tell me what is the answer very straightforward but you need to know the formula and the fact that nc is 5.7 and q is 1 and gamma is 0 that you should know so please tell me what's the answer to this Forty-seven. I am also getting forty-seven something. Others, please confirm the answer. Forty-seven point five eight. Very good. Now forty-seven point four eight. So forty-seven. We can round up it to almost forty-eight. Okay. Let us round up it to forty-eight kilopascal. Understood. Very straightforward question. Let us go to the next question. Question number three. Okay. Something on CS strength. So it's given a soil has a cohesion of sixty kilopascal. So this is the value of what C. Okay. In a triaxle compression test, a specimen of the same soil when subjected to a chamber pressure of 40 kilopascal. Chamber pressure is the cell pressure, right? And by the way, that is the minor principal stress also. That is given as how much? 40 kilopascal felt at an additional stress of 160 kilopascal, right? This additional stress is what? This is the deviatoric stress, right? Yes, this additional stress is what? It is a deviatoric stress. So, I mean, deviatoric stress is given how much? It is given as 160 kilopascal. Now, you see, cell pressure is given. That means what? Minor principal stress is given. Deviatoric stress is given. So, what is the major principal stress? The major principal stress is the cell pressure plus the deviatoric stress. Very good. Easy. So, it is 40 plus 160, 200 kilopascal. Now we know this relationship. We know this relationship. What? But before that, what is asked in the question? They have asked the failure angle, right? So we know this relationship. What? Sigma 1 is equal to what? Sigma 3, 10 square. Yes. Alpha F plus 2C, 10 alpha F. Yes. This equation we know, right? Yes. Now do one thing. This uh, 10 alpha f now, take 10 alpha f as suppose x, just simplify the question. So what will happen? You see this will be 200 is equal to 40 x square plus 2c will be how much? 120x. Can you solve this quadratic and give me the value of x? Solve this quadratic and give me the value of x. Come on, I will wait for your answer. I will check my WhatsApp till that time. Okay. So solve and give me this x quadratic equation. Now I am not going to teach you how to solve quadratic equation. Solve this quadratic equation and give me the value of x. So once you get the value of x, you can get the alpha f also. So first find out x and then find out this alpha f also. Come on, solve it. Solve. I will wait for your answer. I also solve. But I will not tell you how to solve. we are getting 
1.1926 right almost this much value we'll get another negative value also we'll ignore that okay so this much we are getting now from here we can find out alpha f alpha f will be what alpha will be tan inverse of this right alpha will be tan inverse of this so you do what take a tan inverse of this okay you take a tan inverse of this so tan inverse of 1.1926 how much you are getting how much are you getting this alpha f everybody how much are you getting alpha f alpha f how much huh? not taking so much time hmm? 50 very good very good students so the answer is 50 degree the failure angle is asked 50 degree no this is wrong answer why i will tell it is written with major principal stress tricky question you see if we have this stress element right you see this is your now we can say the sample okay so this is what major and this is minor right this is major and minor and this is the failure plane right this is the failure plane yes this is the failure plane we can say something like this yes now the alpha f which we get this is always with the horizontal or i can say what major principal plane right see with the major principal plane it is making an angle of how much 50 degree this alpha f is this angle Whereas they have asked what with the major principal stress. So if you extend this major principal stress, they have asked this angle or this angle. This angle will be how much? Tell me. This angle will be 40 degree. Very smart. This is 90. So this is 50. The remaining one will be how much? 40 degree. Understood everyone? This question everybody understood? So read the question carefully. They might change some, you know, one, two words and everything will get changed. Yes? The answer is what? your 40 degree okay the failure angle which we get from the formula it is always with the horizontal or i can say major principal plane right whereas here they have asked what the major principal stress third question is over very good let us go to the fourth one fourth one oh msq okay fourth one is msq so let us solve this msq so many things are given hmm. Hmm. Will you try this question first? Okay, I am reading the question. By that time, you can try also. A concrete dam is constructed across a river over a permeable stratum of soil. The water heads are upstream side 16 meter and downstream side 2 meter. So, we can say we have a dam like this. Okay. So, upstream side it is 16 meter. So, this is what? This is 16 meter. And downstream side it is what? It is 2 meter. Yes. So I can say the head difference H is how much? 16 minus 2 is 14 meter. Very good. The flow net constructed has 22 EQ potential lines and 8 flow lines. What this will give me? Tell me. From this what we can find out? Okay. Let us read other part of the question also. Horizontal conductivity. This is what K na. Horizontal conductivity means permeability. I can say this is Kx is given 0.06. And vertical means what? KY is given this one. That means what? It is an isotropic medium, right? It is an isotropic medium. So whenever it is an isotropic medium, what I will do? I will take how much K I will take? That I will take as root under KX into KY. Very good. And the average length of the last field is given 0.9 meter. Hmm. What is asked? The exit gradient and your discharge. Now we do the discharge formula, right? What's the discharge formula? Discharge formula is the K, which is in this case root under Kx into Ky into the number of flow channels divided by what? Number of potential drops into the head difference. Now see, this number of flow channels is how much? Tell me, can you tell me what will be the number of flow channels and number of drops, potential drops, tell me. What is the number of flow channels and what is the number of potential drops? Tell me, write in the comment section. Write in the comment section. Right, right. 
21 and 7, very good. Flow lines minus 1, 8 minus 1, and this is 22 minus 1. You should remember this. Okay? So, flow channels are different from flow lines. Common sense. You see, we have three flow lines. How many channels are there? 1 and 2. One less. Three flow lines. How many channels are there? 1, 2, 3. Very easy. Okay? So, from here, I can say that your K is how much? I, okay, how much K I got? Tell me. Let us find out the K first. Root under 0 0.06 into 0 0.003. I am getting a value of 0 0.013416. Okay, so, so this I am getting 0 0.013416. NF is 7. ND is 21. Now the head difference is how much? It is given 14 meter. Now see the discharge they have mentioned in what? You see the discharge unit is CC means what? Centimeter cube. Per second per centimeter. That means everything I'll express in centimeter and second. So when I express in centimeter and second, so you see this will be this is what this is an mm na. So I'll convert into centimeter. Then to the power minus one. And this 14 is what? It is meters. So I tend to put two convert into centimeter. Okay. So now what is the answer? Tell me how much you're getting this answer? The discharge, how much you're getting? You might be getting point six two six centimeter cube per second per centimeter yes or no is everybody getting this answer or no discharge and discharge always per centimeter or per meter because you're finding per unit width of the dam right so are you getting this yes so first answer is correct so this is correct that means this is wrong <laughs> if that one is correct this one is wrong right now the exit gradient what is exit gradient you see suppose this is the dam here okay i'm just giving an example it's not the exact diagram okay so, sorry. So, you see, these are the flow lines, will, flow channels will be like this, like this, like this. Like this. So, it will be there. I am not drawing a part of it. And there will be what? There will be this, uh, you know, equipotential lines also, right? Equipotential lines will be like this. Yes, yes, yes. So, now see, this is the, we can say this is what? The last flow field length right so this last flow field length is given how much 0.9 meter now what is the head difference between these two points or i can say the drop across this point the drop the potential drop delta h in the last flow field will be the total head difference divided by what the number of potential drops see Total head difference is how much? Is something, okay, means, you know, from here to here we are going, okay. And then this much total drop happened. And number of drops is what? Suppose ND. So per drop, how much it happened? Total drop divided by number of drops. That is what? Per drop. So per, you can say per drop, this much is the head difference. So for last one also we'll get the same, na? Yes. So this is what? H by ND. So tell me what is this? How much I will get? I'll get 14 by 21, right? So I can say 2 by 3. So what is the exit gradient? I can say exit gradient is nothing but exit hydraulic gradient, right? And what is hydraulic gradient? It is the head difference by the drainage path. Yes. So we are finding for the exit. Why? Because water will exit here, right? So therefore exit the end one. So this is how much? This I can say is 2 by 3 divided by 0 0.9. How much are you getting this? How much are you getting this value? Tell me the answer. So 2 divided by 3 divided by 0 0.9. I'm getting how much? I'm getting 0 0.74. I'm getting how much? 0 0.74. Okay. So the exit gradient is how much? 0.74. This is wrong. So in this MSQ question, A and D are correct. So this is from C page and question number 4. Let us go to question number 5. Interesting question. Interesting question. Soil has a volume of 80 cc when the water content is 16%. Sinkage limit is this. G is this. Mm -hmm. Volume of sample when the water content is 40%. See, whenever they are giving all this data now, water content this, water content that, sinkage limit, that means they are telling you indirectly use the Diagram for what? Use the diagram of volume versus water content. 
If you remember the diagram of volume versus water content, then we get this particular plot, right? This is the sinkage limit, right? This is the sinkage limit given how much? It is given 20%, yes? And volume from sinkage limit to zero water content, it remains same, right? That is equal to the dry volume, right? That is equal to dry volume, right? Now you see two more water contents are given. One water content is given at what? 40%, right? So that one water content 40% is over here. Another water content is what? It is given 16%, right? It is given 16%. So it is somewhere here, right? Now see, we know that below the sinkage limit, volume remains constant. That means whatever volume I am getting at 16%, the same volume I will get at 20% also, right? Yes. The same one will get in the 20% also. That means the volume 80 cc which is given at 16%, it is nothing but the dry volume. Yes, nothing but a dry volume, right? So, we can say that at sinkage limit equal to 20%, the volume is equal to dry volume, that is how much? 80 centimeter cube. Now, we have to find out what? At water content is equal to 40%, Okay, what is the volume? So this corresponding, this volume we have to find out. Suppose this is V. Suppose this is V. How much volume we get? How to find out? Very easy. See, at sinkage limit, the degree of saturation is what? 1. Water is fully saturated. Now, if we have a water content above that, then the soil will also be saturated. So here also soil is what? Saturated. Right? Now, if I can use SE is equal to WG, so from here I can say at sinkage limit, the void ratio is how much? The void ratio is dry void ratio, dry void ratio, dry void ratio into S, that is 1, will be equal to the sinkage limit water content is how much? 20%, I can say 0.2 into G. Yes, I can write like this, 0.2 into G. Now, here, here also, if I use this equation, suppose the void ratio is E, degree of saturation is 1, so I can write down E is equal to how much? Water content which is 40% 0.4 into G, yes? So I can write down the void ratio at this two water content, okay, in terms of what? WG, because S is 1 in both cases, very good. Now we know this formula, which formula? That V1 by V2 is equal to what? 1 plus E1 by 1 plus E2. Yes. Why? How, from where we got this relationship? Very easy. You see, we have two conditions of volumes and different, you know, void ratios. But what is constant? The volume of solid will be constant, right? And the volume of solids is what? Total volume by 1 plus E. So for this one, volume of solids will be what? V1 by 1 plus E1. And for this, it will be V2 by 1 plus E2. So if you equate them, what will get? V1 by V2 is equal to 1 plus E1 by 1 plus E2, right? So suppose I am taking this as first condition, okay? Suppose I am taking this as first condition, and I am taking this as the second condition. Yes, in the first condition, the volume is what? Vd, yes. And second condition, suppose volume is V. In the first condition, void ratio is what? Void ratio is Ed, Ed. In place of that, I can add on what? 0.2G. And in the second condition, it is what? It is E. The void ratio is E. And I can add on what? 0.4G. Now, we know G, right? We know G. We know our uh, VD also. So, can we find out V now? Can you find out V and tell me? Come on, find out V and tell. G is given to us. VD is given to us. Find out V and G. I will wait for your answer. Very simple. So many questions like this are solved. Okay, they're available in the Baiju's exam prep official app. Okay, I have solved many questions like this. Obviously, we can't solve all the questions in the YouTube channel. Okay, suddenly we are giving you some of the important ones. Obviously, I have solved more than 500 questions in Geotech and explained all those things in the app. So I cannot explain 500 questions. But yes, I am explaining some 10 questions here. And if you want to attend more such questions and concepts, so please download the app and you can see those videos. 108.2, very good. So if you solve this question, you'll be getting V is equal to how much? 108.2.
two centimeter cube. Any other one? Any other student who found out the answer? Okay, very good. Nikki also found out. Okay, very good. Let us solve the next question. Question number six. This question is from consolidation. Consolidation settlement. So many things are written. Okay. A layer of saturated clay. Okay. Five meter in thickness. That means this is the thickness of that clay layer. How much it is given? It is given five meter. It is lying below a building. Okay. Very nice. No problem. The initial effective stress for this clay is given how much? 300 kilo Newton per meter square. Now there is an increase in the effective stress. How much is that? 120. So can I say that is what? Delta sigma is given how much? 120. Right? The compression index CC is given 0.45 and recompression index is given how much? Recompression index is given 0.2 times of compression index. So I can say CR is equal to how much? CR is equal to 0.45 into 0.2. So I'll get how much? 0 0.09. So CR is given 0 0.09. Find the settlement of soil assuming water content 43% and G is equal to 2.7%. Okay. Somebody is spamming. Some very useless fellow is spamming. Can we just block that useless fellow? <laughs> Writing weird things. <laughs> no, no job in life. <laughs> the only job is to do this. <laughs> okay. Bye bye. Useless fellow. <laughs> okay. Let us come back to studies. Okay. So now the formula which we'll use is which formula? The formula we'll use is you see CC or CR. We don't know which one we'll use. By 1 plus E naught initial board ratio into H log 10 sigma 2 dash by sigma 1 dash and sigma 2 dash is what sigma 2 dash is sigma 1 dash plus delta sigma okay now by just seeing the question tell me what i will use i will use cc or cr tell me i'll use cc or cr just read the question and answer me which one i will use i'll use cc or cr tell me Chalo. i will wait for answer Read the question and tell me the pre consolidation stress is also given. It is given, it is what? Your maximum pass stress. Pre consolidation stress is what? This is your maximum pass stress. Tell me, CC or CR? Come on, everybody give a thought and tell me CC or CR. CC or CR? Somebody is telling, two are selling CR. Others, they don't know. Somebody is thinking, sir, what is CC and what is CR? <laughs> I don't know both. <laughs> okay, I'll explain. Okay, I'll explain to you. Some more answer. Everybody is telling CR. Why you are telling CR? Why you are telling CR? This is which clay, by the way? This is which clay? This is NC clay, na? Huh? See, maximum pass stress is given how much? pre consolidation stress is what? Maximum pass stress right this is your pre consolidation stress that is what given 250 kilo pascal right present stress is how much initial present stress is 300 kilo pascal there is increment of 120 so sigma 2 dash is how much it is 420 kilo pascal so can i say the present stress is more than past stress this is which soil nc clay this is nc na Normally consolidated, the soil is experiencing, the soil is experiencing this present stress first time, right? Yes or no? Huh? Remembered, forgot, didn't know. If you don't know or forgot or whatever, now you know. Yes or no, tell me. Now it is clear or not? Now it is clear or not? The present stress, you see? The present stress is more than what? The past, maximum past stress. So this is NC. So we'll use what? We'll use CC. See, if, suppose it was given that the pre consolidation stress is 500. So it's given how much? 500. Then means what? That means the present stress is less than the past. That will become OC and I'll use what? CR. 
Understood? Okay, I'll again repeat. If the present stress is given more than the maximum past stress or pre-consolidation stress, that means this stress, the soil is experiencing first time in its, you know, life. That means what? That means it's NC. Yes? So I'll use what? CC. Yes. So everybody is clear now. So use the formula CC and solve this question and give me the answer. Use the formula CCH by 1 plus E naught log 10 sigma 2 dash by sigma 1 dash. See sigma 2 dash and sigma 1 dash we know, okay. How to find out this E? E we can find out using this saturated soil, right? So again ES is equal to WG I will use, right? Yes. So S is 1. From here I can get that initial void ratio. E naught will be how much? Water content is given 0.43 and G is 2.7. I'll get the initial void ratio as 2.7 into 0.43. That is how much? 1.164. Okay, solve. Now see they have asked the answer in what? Okay, nothing is mentioned. Okay, here the question is not to find the answer in centimeter. Huh? Find settlement in centimeter. So use H in centimeter. Okay, give me the answer. So, 0.152 meter, okay, centimeter, 15.2, right? Yes. So, I'll use this relationship. So, delta H will be equal to CC, which is given how much? 0.45. H, I will use 500 centimeter, divided by 1 plus 1.161, 1 plus E naught, log 10, sigma 2 is 420, and this is 300 sigma 1. So if you use these formulas, okay, we'll get the answers. You see, very straightforward formula. Sir, H value will put or 2.5. We will put H, H as uh, 5 only. Why will put 2.5? Hmm? That we will do for, you know, time of consolidation. When you're finding settlement, na, the single drainage or double drainage don't matter. See, when you're, you know, when you're finding settlement, the ultimate settlement, it is single drainage or double drainage, doesn't matter, right? Yes? See, if I compress your head like this, the time taken to compress your head depends on what? I am applying from top or bottom, right? Yes? But if I am only applying from top, the time taken might be more, but the net compression will be same, na? Understood? Your, I will not press your head, so don't mind. Okay? <laughs> Understood? Okay, so getting how much? 15.2 centimeter. Settlement, single drainage, double drainage don't matter. Next thing. Now something on permeability. Okay, something on permeability, falling head test. Okay, something on permeability, falling head test. Okay, 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 okay. okay. So in a falling head test, a soil sample is 20 centimeter long having a cross section of 24 cm square the area of standpipe is 2 cm square the time required is asked when the head drops from what h1 25 cm to what h2 12 cm and the soil is consisting of what your multiple layers and the flow is perpendicular let me just draw it so that you get a clarity of this thing this is question number what 7 i think right yeah. Very good. So you see, something like this. The soil sample is layered, okay, like this. Three layers are there. Okay, layer number one, layer number two, and layer number three. Okay, so like this is there. Now, we have a standpipe. We know that the setup of a falling head test. Okay, we have a standpipe. Okay, and the standpipe area is how much? It is given A is equal to 2 centimeter square. Given how much? Area A is equal to 2 centimeter square and the cross section of the soil sample is 24. So you can say the cross section area of this soil sample, you can say this area, right? You can say this area. Yes, this is what? This is capital A is equal to 24 centimeter square. Now total length is given how much? Total length is given 20 centimeter. This is the length of the sample. 20 centimeter. Very good. Now, the head falls from where? It falls from 25 to 12. So, we know the formula.
for finding what the k using what your falling height test that is how much a length of the sample small a means area of the standpipe into length of the sample into capital a area of the soil into time taken right into time taken then what ln h1 by h2 yes ln h1 by h2 now see what is asked in the question they have asked the time required that means they have asked you this one see capital a is given small a is given right the length of sample is given it falls from h1 to h2 that is also given is the permeability given you might think sir permeability is given but it is given in different layers right and the flow is what perpendicular to the layers you see the flow will be like this right the seepage will be like this so it's perpendicular to the layers that means so it is vertical flow so what i will do in this case i will replace this three layered thing into a single layer right with a coefficient of permeability equal to what equivalent vertical flow permeability right and this vertical flow permeability is how much the equivalent permeability coefficient how we find out summation of h divided by what summation of h by k yes and this kb which we get this will become the k of the whole sample comprising of the three samples it will become the k so once you find this you can place here and then you can find out what t so find out this kb find out can you give me this kb come on find out this the thicknesses are given yes i can say this is h1 h2 h3 i can say this is k1 k2 and k3 so give me the equivalent uh, coefficient of permeability that will solve the question please find out this answer k1 k2 k3 come on come on come on all these questions are original questions they are all framed by me i frame my own questions okay so all the questions you will find unique you will not find them in the previous year questions you will not find in any test series conducted in any uh, coaching institute okay if you find then uh, good you found out it was coincidence <laughs> but 99.9% you will not find or if you find it might have happened that they might have copied from my notes okay okay chalo find out k vertical nikalo jaldi se find out quickly so i can say this will be summation of this 8 plus 8 plus 4 Divide by what? Eight by point zero 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 two plus eight by point zero 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 five plus four by point zero 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 seven. So how much we are getting? Okay, somebody is writing three point twenty per four. Okay, so K B you are getting how much? Others also please find out so that we can have a validation of the thing. Okay, because I don't have the solution right now, so I know the concepts, but I don't carry the solutions. Three point two four into the power minus four. Okay, so I'll trust four of three. So three point two four into the power minus four. What is this centimeter per second? Because everything is centimeter. Okay, very good. Okay, so we got our K B. So what I will do? I'll just put here. Yes. So from here, time will be what? Small a two. Length is twenty centimeter. Capital A is twenty four, K is three point two four ten to the power minus four. You see everything, you see everything is in centimeter. So put everything in centimeter second, everything will get cancelled. Then L N H one is how much twenty five and then twelve right? Twelve right. You see the answer will be in what in second right? From this you will get the answer in seconds. Why? You see. This A is in centimeter square, capital and small, so they get cancelled. L is in what? L is in centimeter, and K is in centimeter per second. So centimeter and centimeter per second. So centimeter, centimeter get cancelled, and that per second goes up second. And L and don't have units, so we'll get in seconds. But they have asked the question in what minutes? So what I will do? I'll divide this by sixty. Yes, why I'm dividing this sixty to get the answer in minutes. So give me the answer in minutes. As per Manjit, it is sixty-two point nine two, and the answer is absolutely correct. So t is equal to around sixty-three seconds. We will get okay. 
So that rounding of business you can do around you will get 63 seconds. Okay. <laughs> Some more person came. <laughs> okay. Very frustrated, na? <laughs> Not have, don't have any job, na? <laughs> don't have job, na? Come, come, come. Okay. <laughs> Nobody will pay interest here. <laughs> okay. Let us go to next question. Okay, so everybody understood this question, question number 7. Okay, so everybody understood this question, question number 7, we are going to word question number 8. Okay, let us go to question number 8. Everybody understood this? Easy. So see, variety of questions we are solving, okay. Okay, question number 8 is very interesting question, okay. It's very interesting question. So we solved question on consolidation, settlement, now we will solve for what this. It's an interesting question, what is written, let us see. A clay layer 6 meter thick is subjected to pressure of... Eight. Pressure means what? This is the stress increment. Very good. Delta sigma is given. Very good. If the layer has single drainage, okay, if the layer has single drainage, this, this person, this person really took to heart. <laughs> Keep on. Come. Come. Okay. Come. Come with 100 accounts. We'll block all the 100 accounts. Come with 1000 accounts. Come with 1 lakh accounts. We'll block everything. Okay. If the layer has single drainage and undergoes 40 percent consolidation in nine months, okay, 40 percent consolidation in nine months, assuming K is this, find the settlement in nine months. The question looks short, so in gate I will tell you one beautiful thing. When the question is short, the answer is long, okay, and when the question is long, the answer is sorry, sorry. When the no, sorry, I told the ulta. When the question is short, answer is long. When the question is long, answer is short. Okay. Chalo. So now, hmm, yeah. So you see here, this H is 6 meter. The drainage path will be what? Drainage path will be 6 meter only because it is what? It is single drainage. Yes, because it is single drainage. Now time taken is given 9 months for 40% consolidation. Now for 40% consolidation, I can find out the time factor. The time factor will be how much? Pi by 4, 40 by 100 square. Right? 40 by 100 square. Now this is equal to what? This is equal to CB into time taken for 40% consolidation divided by D square. Right? This is the formula. So from here, can I find out CB? Yes, I can find out CB. See, first of all, this TB. TB or I can say time factor. How much I am getting? 0.4 square, 0.4 square into pi divided by 4. I am getting this as how much? I am getting this as, this I am getting as 0.12566 I am getting. So CB will be how much? This TB which I am getting, I will multiply by D square, means what? 6 square divided by, this time is given, right? 9 months. This 9 months I can convert into what? I can convert that into years. So 9 by 12 years. That is how much? 3 by 4 I can say 0.75 year. So I divide by this. So I can 9 by this is 0.75. So unit will be how much? You see this TV don't have unit. And this uh, D is in meter. So the unit will be meter square per year, right? So how much is CV tell me? How much CV you are getting tell me? What is, by the way, CV, it is the coefficient of consolidation, right? CV is your coefficient of consolidation, right? So CV is your coefficient of consolidation. How much you got? Tell me. We are getting something around 6.032. 6.032 meter square per year. This is your CV. Very good, very nice. We got nice, beautiful CV. What we will do with this CV? CB is equal to K by gamma W into MB. From here, I'll find out MB. MB will be what? K, which is given how much? 0 0.048 meter per year. Right? Divided by gamma W, I'll take how much? 9.81 kilo Newton per meter cube. And then CB is what? We got 6.032. Unit is what? Unit is? I got is meter square per year. So what happens? You see, this year you get cancelled. 
this will get cancelled, I get a meter. When this meter goes up, I get a meter square. And how much MB I get? Unit will be meter square per kilonewton. And how much we get MB, tell me. MB, how much we got, tell me. And what will do with the MB, I will tell you. But first tell me what is MB you are getting. By the way, what is MB? Coefficient of volume compressibility, right? It is coefficient of volume compressibility. 8.112. 8.112 10 to the power minus 4. Yes, 8.112 10 to the power minus 4. Very good. Very good. So, from that, can I find out total settlement? Yes. <laughs> I'll find out what total settlement. Total settlement formula is what? Ultimate settlement formula is what? It is MB into delta sigma into what? H. Yes, this is the formula. So, MB, how much you're getting? 8.112 into the power minus 4. Yes, we got this. Delta sigma is given 80, right? And H is 6 meter. I will take that as how much? I will take that as 600 centimeter because I want to find out the answer is in centimeter. So tell me, what is the answer for delta H? Tell me. Find out and tell me. What is how much ultimate settlement you got? Tell me. What is the ultimate settlement you got? You got ultimate settlement as 38.93 centimeter. You got ultimate settlement how much? 38.93 centimeter. Is this what is asked in the question? Tell me. Read the question final and final what I have asked. Is this the question answer? Tell me. Is this the answer? The answer is something else. Tell me. Is this the answer? The answer is something else. Mm. This is the ultimate settlement. What they have asked? Find the settlement in 9 months. In 9 months, the degree of consolidation is how much? 40%. Na? And what is degree of consolidation? Degree of consolidation is nothing but the settlement at that time divided by what? The ultimate settlement in 200. Right? Yes. They have, they have not asked ultimate settlement. They have they means I have asked. Sorry, I have framed the question. They go, which they. So I have framed the question. So I am asking you that I have cleverly not asked what the ultimate settlement. See, the ultimate settlement is this one. Because this formula, this formula gives me the ultimate settlement. But it, they have, I mean, sorry, again, I'm using they, 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 they. Because when we solve this, you know, gate question, I use what? They, because it is for the IIT. <laughs> when I'm solving my questions, so why I'm using they. So in nine months, it will be 40%. What's the final answer then? Tell me. What's the final answer then? What is the final answer? Yes. 40% of ultimate one. So, 0 0.4 of 38.93. Okay. So, 0 0.4 of 38.93. I am getting how much? 15.6 around, right? 15.6. That depends on, you know, how much you have taken this 38.63 and all. Okay. Okay. Understood? So, this is a very good question. Yes. It's a very good question. Many of your concepts get revised. Okay, very good. Question number nine. Let us go to question number nine. Okay. Something on what? Something on your stress increment. Okay. What is this question? A saddled area when placed on new mark chart with center coinciding with point P. With center coinciding with point P. Covered what? 29 area units. Very good. 29 area units. New mark chart consists of 5 concentric circles and 10 radial lines. 10 radial lines. Find the equivalent load. Hmm. H per Boston SQ when placed at the same time, same point, produces the same amount of stress at a depth 3 meter edge produced by the area load. What is the meaning of this? I will explain. Okay. So we have an area load, okay, like this. We have a P. And due to this area load, there is some stress increment 3 meter below this P. Yes. Instead of this area load, if I put a point load Q and find out the stress increment at this 3 meter. Yes. So if the stress increment here 
and stress increment here are same, they are asking you to get this point load. Yes. So like this, like this, what, what we will do? We will find out the stress increment at this point and we will find out the stress increment at this point. Yes, due to different equations, right? Because this is due to point load, this is due to area load. Now whenever we are using the Newmark chart, what is the formula for find out stress increment? That is the influence number, okay, influence coefficient or influence factor into what? Into the area load Q, right? Into what? Into what? into the number of area units covered, right? Number of area units covered, okay? So influence factor is how much? If you remember, it is 1 by m into n, na? yes? So see, we, if we have a new mark chart, right? If we have a new mark chart, yes? You can say these are the radial lines and what? These things. So if you put this area like this, so it is telling number of units covered is 29. And I is what? I is M into N. So from here, can you give me this stress increment? Yes. This will be M into N. M is 5, that is N is 10, so 1 by 50. Q is given how much? You see, this is 5, this is 10. Q is given how much? 50. So Q is 50 and N, capital N, number of area units is 29. So this is 50 into 29. So I am getting the stress increment as how much? 29 kilo Newton per meter square. Very good. Nice. Good. Good question. Next is, I am telling that the stress increment due to this point load is also same. Now the stress increment due to the point load formula is what? As per Boston SQ, it is 3 cube by 2 pi z square into 1 by 1 plus r by z whole square to the power what? 5 by 2. Yes, but when we are finding just below the load, then R becomes 0. So this whole terms become 1. So I can say that 3 Q by 2 pi Z square becomes equal to what? It becomes equal to sigma Z. Now sigma Z is how much? We just got na, 29. Now depth is how much? 3 meter. Can you give me Q? Find out Q and give me, come on. Come on, come on, come on, jaldi, 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 jaldi. We have two questions more. No, no, one question more, one question more. Then 10 questions, homework. Hey, this how much time you are taking, huh? I got the answer. Are tell the answer. What is the final answer of Q from here? Tell me. I got the answer. I am waiting for your answers. Okay. Wake me up when you are uh, when you complete the answer. Huh? Huh? Hey, Jade is three meter, Baba. What you are thinking? Okay, Santu found out finally. So 546.64 kN I am getting. Okay, sir. Understood everyone? Okay, sir. those who understood very good, didn't understood, see the video again. This question number 9, this is from vertical stress distribution. Let us go to the next question. So we'll classify the soil. 10th question. So 10th question is on classification of soil. So it is given percent finer than 4.75 is 55 percent and percent finer than 0 0.075 is 25 percent. So whenever you are classifying the soil, nah, classify like this. You see 4.75 mm, yes, seep and then 0 0.075 mm seep. This is also known as what? 75 micron I can say, right? micro okay now what is written 25 percent pass through it means what 25 percent are below it right now see 55 pass through you see 55 pass through this 4.75 sieve 
if 55 percent pass through this 4.75 sieve so how many are between 4.75 and 0 0.075 that will be 35 percent right yes or no that will be 35 percent right yes see 25 pass through 0.75 55 pass through your 4.75 so 35 will be between 4.75 and 0 0.075 and how much will be more than 4.75 so it will be how much total one is 100 percent so 20 to 100 percent minus 35 minus 25 or I can say 100 minus 55 that is how much 45 now tell me this is clay this is tell me this is clay or this is gravel or this is sand tell me what is this this is clay gravel or sand tell me what is this first classify this it is clay gravel or sand tell me what is this Why you are not responding? If you don't respond, then I will solve myself. I will only enjoy the lecture. I will only clear the exam. Yeah, I have already cleared the exam. So what I will do? Okay, I will again clear the exam. Okay. And uh, I will teach, I will study. Gravel. It is gravel. You see. See, below your point zero seven five, we have what? We have fine grained soil. Either it will be silt or clay. Yes. Between 0 0.075 and your 4.75, it is what? It is your sand. So remember that. And more than 4.75, it is what? Gravel. Okay. Now see, some everyone is writing sand. Why they are writing sand? God knows. With, uh, under which logic they are writing sand, I God knows. Now tell me. Sand is 35%, not revising, sleeping, okay. Sand is 35%, gravel is 45%, and fine granite is 25%. So automatically this is what? Gravel, na? It is gravel, Baba. It is gravel. G for gravel. Very good. We got G for gravel. But that is not the end. So whenever the soil is coarse, soil is coarse means it is gravel, or it is your sand then it is coarse grained so we go for the other kind of classification that is what if the fine grained percentage if the fine grained percentage is less than five percent yes if it is less than five percent then we go for what either it is well graded or poorly graded or if it is more than 12 percent we go for what Either it is silty gravel or it is clayey gravel. Right? Now see here, what is happening? Fine grain is how much? 25%. Since fine grain is 25%, it is more than 12%. So answer will be either it is silty gravel or it is what? Clayey gravel. How we decide that? Very easy. Very easy. You find out what? IP. IP is what? Liquid limit minus plastic limit. So IP is given how much? Liquid limit is 38. Plastic limit is what? Your 26. So I can say 38 minus 26 give me what? 12, right? It is 12. Now you have to find out the IP of A line. The IP of A line is what? 0.73 liquid limit minus your 20, right? This is how much you are getting, tell me. This is 0.73 into 18 right because liquid limit is 38 so I'm getting how much 13.14 so remember this thing remember this thing when IP is more than IPA yes or I can say if you remember the plasticity chart this is what your liquid limit versus IP so this is what the A line so IP is more than IP of A line means what it lies here over the line this is what I can say clay and if your IP is what less than IP of A yes that means it is lying somewhere here right below it so this is what 
this is your i can say this is your silt now what we are getting we are getting your ip of a you see ip of a more than what ip so this is clay or this is silty tell me this is clay or this is silty this is what this is silty yes this is silty so i can say this is gm silty gravel this is what silty gravel understood everyone this is what silty gravel so whenever you are classifying the soil whenever you are classifying the soil first you classify into what it is fine grained or gravel or sand you do that first okay so first we understood it is gravel okay now once we understood it is gravel we saw the fine percentage it is not less than 5% it is more than 12% then we will judge it is silty or clay by judging the ip and ip okay but this is not everything about soil classification this is one of the questions okay so many things other other things are also there so all these type of questions and conceptual clarifying questions i have solved they are available in the byju's exam prep app if you download the app the recorded sessions 30 minutes concentrated sessions and i have put my all experience into it so if you want to study you can study if you don't want to study don't study your loss <laughs> okay so now homework so question number 11 is your homework you see i have given the answers okay so that you know you can check that you have solved it correctly or not so question number 11 question number 12 you see 11 is from bearing capacity question number 12 is from elastic settlement question number 13 is from basic properties question number 14 okay addition from classification question number 15 okay it is from basic properties question number 16 is from permeability layered permeable layered permeability question number 17 it is from seepage question number 18 this is also from permeability question number 19 it is from vertical stress increment and question number 20 is from seepage so i have uh, you know so deep foundation no question okay i just framed the question on spot okay so i can frame i can keep on framing such questions on spot okay so let's solve this question question number special question on special demand 
okay so it is given what you see there is a pile like this okay there is a pile like this okay so you see the base cohesion is given how much it is given 45 but for the top 40 percent length this is l so i can say for this much length 0.4 l the cohesion is how much the cohesion is given as how much 35 so below it it is how much it is 40 45 right so we are supposed to find out the length of this file if the ultimate load carrying capacity is given the ultimate load carrying capacity is what it is the end bearing cap end bearing uh, and plus what the screen friction right now how much is end bearing how much is end bearing end bearing we see c and c into what area of base so cohesion how much cohesion will take base na? base will take how much 45 so 45 and nc is 9 right area of base will be how much it's a square cross section so 600 mm is 0 0.6 so 0 0.6 square plus this is the end bearing resistance right plus next one is screen friction when finding the screen friction what is the formula the addition factor is not given na? So whenever addition factor is not given, what you will take? You can take that as 1, right? Addison factor is not given, take alpha as 1. Now you see, when I am considering, okay, when I am considering the surface area, see, I am considering surface area, you see, surface area is same. Surface area is same, but the cohesion is different, right? The cohesion is different. So I will take separate surface area for the top soil and separate surface area for the bottom soil. So surface area is how much? Perimeter into length, right? Now perimeter is what? It's a square pile. So 4 into base length, right? So 4 into base length is how much? 0. 0.6. Yes. Now for the top soil, the length is how much? 0. 0.4 L and the cohesion is 35. Now for the bottom soil, the length is how much? 0. 0.6 L and the cohesion is 45. So solve and give me the length L then. Yes, we know that the skin friction resistance is how much? It is alpha into C into surface area, right, of the pile, surface area of the pile, right. So alpha I have taken 1 because not mentioned in the question. When I am taking surface area, surface area is what? It is perimeter into length. So perimeter is constant because the cross section is constant. Yes, it's a square from top to bottom. So perimeter is constant. So I take the perimeter constant. It is how much? Your 4 into 0. 0.6. Next, the L and cohesion are changing. So I can say this is nothing but perimeter into summation of what? C, I, L, I. So for top 0. 0.4 L, it is 35. For bottom 0. 0.6 L, it is your 45. Okay, which subject is taking? So for the next subject, stay tuned to the channel. The channel they are announcing go and see upcoming streaming okay i will not tell <laughs> okay find out the answer tell me the answer instead of finding the answer you only told that sir no question from deep foundation when the question is given you are telling which is the next session huh? so frickle minded tell me the answer then now what is l from here i will solve if you don't want to solve How much are getting? How much are getting? Nobody is solving. Everybody is like, sir, we'll solve, we will enjoy. 2.28 we are getting. I am getting 2.2, almost 2.3 I am getting. I am getting almost 2.3 meter. Okay. Others are getting 2.3, something 2.3 around. Nobody is solving. Oh, wonderful. Okay, 2.3 meter. Understood? So such kind of questions they can ask. Okay. So you should be ready. Okay, you should be ready. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much for the... Uh, active participation especially towards the end okay 
and solve the homework questions if you want to solve if you don't want to solve don't solve your ways okay so next subject uh, details will be available in the uh, link okay so i will give you some hints i will give you tips so one thing is that subscribe to channel if you subscribe to channel then what you will get notifications automatically will get then there is a telegram link also okay instead of asking the teacher there is a telegram link also right so in the telegram link you join the telegram link it's the official byju's exam prep or telegram link so if you join the telegram link what will happen every day you will get the notice of which all lectures are to be conducted so in morning you wake up you just open the telegram group you see which lectures are there and then you can attend them okay so i will suggest that always be active on the telegram group so join the telegram group telegram group description is a link is available in the, in the description and as i am telling from 13th of november i will be seen in the other youtube channel so subscribe best thing is what subscribe to both channel if you have subscribe to english hindi whatever getting confused subscribe to both channels <laughs> you will get the notification that is best thing right no confusions okay bye 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 bye